All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's Yashir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, I want to go in this uh, topic. Um, if you're not in the right spirit, you're not in the truth. Okay? Which that right spirit is the Holy Spirit um, according to the, 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 the scriptures. Okay? Uh, that set apart spirit. Okay? Uh, that's different from this world. Okay? Well, people have to understand that um, Israel, okay, the people of Israel, we had a we had a different way of doing things, man. You know, we we believed in order. We believed in uh, um, uh, following the laws, you know, to the best of our ability. But it's not just about uh, following uh, the laws. You know, it's about you know having that right attitude towards your help by some Yahweh, and that's what. Uh, being in the right spirit is, you know, what Yahweh is the Most High, the Father, and Yahweh Sa is the Son, okay, the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. So you have to be in the right spirit towards walking to, I mean, walking towards um, the Lord, okay. So in this truth, a key word is integrity, and a lot of brothers go into this word, you know, integrity, integrity, you know, like the brother uh, Pasha from the uh, GMS. Uh, Dallas camp, you know, his page is uh, GMS, Ascidians uh, DMV, okay, um, he went into the word uh, uh, integrity, okay, and I just recently did a video on basically having a ruling class mentality, okay, and have, a part of having that ruling class mentality is, you know, having integrity, okay, the the, the right spirit towards y'all by some y'all side, which the word integrity, I'm gonna get the etymology of the word it says innocence blameless chastity purity okay which that word purity goes into uh the holy holy okay sanctified okay it says soundness wholeness completeness purity correctness blamelessness okay integer uh well it says whole which the word whole comes from the word uh integer okay uh, it says wholeness, perfect condition, okay, and you know uh, the integer. The word integer is a whole number, okay, whole, complete, uh, figurative, figuratively, untainted, upright, literally untouched, to touch, to touch or handle, okay, whole, entire, okay. So these are the words you know that we're supposed to. Um, apply when we in this truth, man. Okay, when you're walking in this truth, you, you're supposed to be an innocent person or try your best. You know, you can't be sleeping with another man's woman. Okay, that's not being innocent. Okay, straight up being a nigga. Okay, you you continually uh being uh re, re, rebuked and uh re, and and brothers are trying to reprove you but you just not getting it you know and, and and then you just go off and just do your own thing you also you got to know that you you not accepting the reproof or the rebuke shows that you're not being blameless man okay because when brothers get on you and tell you hey stop doing this you know brothers are saying this out of uh trying to not only save your soul, but save our soul also, okay, so it's our duty as men of the Lord, okay, which, uh, having the right spirit towards y'all by some y'all side, is to get on people and tell people, you know, their, their faults, their, their transgressions, okay, and then when people don't want to listen, you know, we, we're putting the blame on you, okay, you don't want to listen and, and, and get right, and and, and 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 you know erase those faults that you that you do have but you do have a chance to repent you know and, and, and change your ways from the things that you've been doing but when you don't want to change your ways from off of what you've been doing and you don't repent then that shows that you're not in the right spirit okay so with that said I want to go ahead and get into the scripture 2nd Peter 3 and 14 it says wherefore beloved 
seeing that you look for such things, okay, which we're looking for the kingdom of heaven, okay, which the kingdom of heaven is, is right here, you know, and before us, you know, it's the, the brothers that, you know, we do the work with, okay, um, you're looking at the people that are going to be the, the future rulers and kings on this planet, man, okay, so we're looking for that, 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 that throne, okay, everlasting life, that's what, what brothers are looking for, okay, you're not supposed to be looking at somebody that you pushing and doing the work with, uh, is a is a, a, a just a nigga, you know? Um, unless that person is not doing what the hell they supposed to do, okay? But you do have we we always say that there's niggas and great millstone and so on and so forth that don't want to follow order, you know, but those guys are are setting an example, okay, of what not to be. So we you know, we just let things go on, you know. Well the Lord is the one who let things go on, you know. So, so a guy who, who, who comes into this truth and you're looking for the kingdom of heaven and you see somebody that, you know, uh, is getting lazy or not doing what the hell they supposed to do, you, you supposed to be looking at it like, hey, especially if it's like a camp leader, you know, you look at him and say, oh, man, I know that, you know, this guy ain't, probably ain't going to make it. You know, like we had this situation at, at our camp, you know, here in Baltimore and our camp leader is no longer, you know, uh, anywhere to be found, you know, he out there, uh, fishing at some pond, taking pictures and stuff of him fishing, but, uh, he's not out here fishing for the, uh, the elect man, you know, so I'm saying this from off of experience, okay, so it says, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace, okay, so we have to continue to do the work, continue to, uh, you know, uh, tell brothers, you know, uh, to, to, to look for it, to, to doing this work, you know, um, being at peace with the, with the brothers, okay, not every time it's some, somebody come around, you know, you always, it's always, you know, brothers gotta look over their shoulders at you and stuff like that, man, you know, because, because brothers have to, to, to get their self right, man, you know, it says without spot and blameless, okay, so we have to have integrity, and it's truth, okay, not being niggas, it says, Philippians 2 and 15, that you may be, um, hold on, uh, I'm gonna start at 12, it says, wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, okay, so, a man of the Lord, okay, you supposed to you supposed to have that fear of y'all by some y'all saw, you know, because you know that hey, if I don't do what the Lord said to do, if I'm not if I don't have integrity, if I'm not walking in the right spirit, the Lord could kill me. You know? Um, the Lord can 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 if I have children, take my children away, you know? Um uh the Lord um could could, could uh starve me to death, you know, uh by way of famine. You know, or, or, or uh, have me die of thirst. You know, the Lord, the Lord is the, the, the king of terrors, man. You know, the Lord could, 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 uh, could bug me out until the missiles come, you know, in which the missiles is the, is the, uh, is the, 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 the end all be all, you know, before our kingdom come. But the Lord could bug you out before the, before the missiles come. And, and and put you in a, a straight up reprobate type of mind and just take the spirit away from you. You know? And that's something that you're supposed to fear, man. That's why brothers have to continue to, to pray, you know, and, and hope and pray that we 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 reach the kingdom, man. It says, For it is Yahweh Basim Yahshah, the most high, which worketh in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. Okay. Do all things without murmurings and disputings. Okay, so let's go into this word murmuring. Okay, Strong's G eleven twelve. Gagus mas, gagus mas. Okay, and the word is gagus mas. Okay, it says a murmuring, murmuring, mur muttering, a secret debate, a secret displeasure, not openly avowed. Okay, so you know a brother get on you now you 
you trying to find uh, your way uh, to, to, to trying to get other brothers to, uh, you know, behind behind brothers back to, to say shit about that brother that, that's getting on you. Hey, man, I don't like how that brother is getting on me, you know, or, or just peep, peep what he say, peep the things that he do, you know what I'm saying, just look at him. You know, and, and you tell me what he what he does. You know what I'm saying? And then, then that brother who got on you, he get on the next brother, and that brother all of a sudden now has that that evil eye towards that 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 guy that you just uh uh sold that discord among. You know, now um, that's that murmurings talking behind people back, something that you you scared to even say in front of people's face, man. You know, um, and you you a saint to say it, which a lot of people don't be ashamed to say the shit that they say. You know, oh, I don't, I don't know about the the apostles, or I don't know about um what 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 uh what um what what they're saying. You know, I don't know about that brother or or the the, the things that he do. You know, you you got you got a, you got that got a lot of that going on out here, man. You know, people people uh really not down with the thing, so so they don't uh they they go behind people back and they talk talk shit, man. You know. Um, murmuring, you know, secret debates and stuff, okay, even to bring out, uh, different doctrines, man, you know, you got guys that want to bring out, uh, different doctrines behind people's backs, you know, b instead of coming up under the order of what, what, um, what they, like they should be, okay, it says disputants, okay, um, get the word dis dispute, Strong's G, 1261, Dialogus Mas, Dialogus Mas, Okay, it says, Dialogus Mas. Okay, the thinking of a man deliberating with himself, a thought and with reasoning, purpose, design, a deliberating, questioning about what is true, hesitation, hesitation, doubting, disputing, or arguing. You know, but you have a lot of that going on right now. You know, guys that just don't have their right spirit towards Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. You know, and, and, and what... What really happens at the end of the day is something something um, gets brought to the, the the front of of whatever you know what I'm saying something something happens amongst Israel like last you know which we talking about like Great Millstone you know like let's say something happens you know Apostle Tahar says something and then next thing you know uh, people don't agree with it you know. Uh, 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 people don't agree with what what, what, what Apostle Tahar say or or anybody say, especially when it comes down to like, um, let's say the the black woman. You know, guys get on a black woman. You know, what I'm saying, and we tell people like, yo, the black woman ain't right. You know, now all of a sudden you have a lot of disputants going on, and people wondering like, yo, like I don't know, man, like I ain't trying to follow them. You know, hey, if you, it's either you want to do this work or you don't want to, man. You know, we're not in the spirit of being simps, you know what I'm saying, or, or in the spirit of uh, trying to, uh, what, what should I say, um, trying to be a Captain save a hoe, man. You know, that's not the spirit that we're supposed to be in, man. You know, now you have some decent sisters out here that are actually trying, but you have people out here that are actually disputing, okay, and, and, and in their mind, in their spirit, they just don't want to do this thing. And they, you know, they waiting for that right moment to just leave, man. You know, it's like guys are, are looking at what, what the apostles say. And that's that's getting them up out of the truth, man. You know, they 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 they, they look at it like, you know, oh, oh, the apostle said this. So, hey, forget everything that 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 I came into this truth for. You know, I'm going to I'm going to leave. You know, that way I'm waiting for that door to open because these men, are, these men are going crazy. You know, and they don't understand that sometimes, hey, that's the spirit just just being pushed out there, you know, to see if brothers is in the right spirit or not, man. And more often than not, guys are not in the right spirit. You know, um, it says that you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of Yahweh Shemiah without rebuke. Okay, so you just leave, you know, brothers bring out a certain uh point of the doctrine or something like that. And you just straight up leave or you don't like it. And now you it, you on grounds of being rebuked, man. You know? Um, it says, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, 
Which this 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 is a, a quicken and perverse nation, man. You know? And God and, and people look at what the apostles uh say when they bring out certain things and they look at it like, I don't know, man. You know, not my woman, not my queen, you know. When we now understand that this is the, this is a wicked ass nation, man. You know, it says among whom you shine is lights in the world. You know, so we supposed to shine our light on the world, man. That this place got to get 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 cleansed, man. With with thermonuclear missiles, okay. America has to be destroyed, okay. And then when when the kingdom come, it won't be crooked and perverse, man. You know. It won't be none of that, uh, what is it, uh, getting on people or rebuking our people and stuff like that, man, because our people will be in their right mind, you know? And that's all we are doing. We, we're rebuking this society. That's what we come out here and we do on the highway and hedges. We're told to rebuke, man, okay? What do the scriptures say? I'm going to get this scripture, uh, John 7, uh, verse 7. The world cannot hate you, but me it hates. Because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. So br brothers are bringing out points about how the works in this world are evil, man. You know? And guys have a problem with that. And you don't have a problem with, you know, the men, per se. You have a problem with uh, Yahweh by Simeon Shah. Because you're looking at the, the his men is just the, as if they're nothing. And you on the verge of killing the prophets, man. You know? Um, this is uh, first... Uh, Timothy 5, 1 and 5, it says, Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart and of a good conscience and faith unfeigned. Okay? So having the right spirit, man, you're supposed to be a charitable brother, you know? Uh, you're supposed to have that pure heart towards y'all by some y'all side, that, that righteous mind, okay? And your faith is not supposed to, to falter, man. It says, for, some, for which some having swerved, have turned aside onto vain jangling. You know, speaking about boys or apostle to our said this and you know, uh so and so did that. And it's like, yo, like even if even if they said whatever, man, you know, what do that gotta do with you getting your salvation, man? You know? Is you gonna allow another man to get you out the truth? You know it says desiring to be teachers of the law. Oh the the scripture says this. The scripture says that. You know, it says, understanding neither what they say, nor where, whereof they affirm. You know, because you got people out here that do this. Okay? Oh, the, the law says this. You know, we're supposed to do this, and we're not supposed to do that. You know, and it's like, yo, we're not, we not in our kingdom right now. We're in fucking hell, man. You know? We have to have that righteous mindset towards y'all by some y'all shot. And that's what it's about. It says, but we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully. You know? Yeah, the law is good. You know, yes, the scriptures are, are in the Bible. You know, the law says this. And we don't we don't go against that, man. It says, knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for the sinners, for the unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men stealers, for liars, for perjured per persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. You know? And who does all these things, man? Esau, the so-called white man, he don't have no laws. You know, he's not lawless. Uh, well, he is lawless, you know, according to the scriptures. You know, he's disobedient. You know, ungodly, a straight-up sinner. Our people are. You know, so our people have to get judged, man. You know? And and when we bring out the fact like, okay, well, rape was in the scriptures, you know, or well, rape happened back in the past, you know, and we told people, if you did do that, if you did rape somebody, then these are the consequences that you have to do or pay if you did, if you did do that, man. You know, there was consequences, man. You know? And people, people didn't, people can't get that, man. You know, that's what the laws is for, man. So, so that there's order. If you break these laws, okay, then there, you got to pay for that, man. You know, if you, if you, if you murdered somebody, okay, then you got to get put to death. That's what the law is for, man. Okay. So, so 
Um, I'm, I'm going to get this last scripture and I'm going to end it. Uh, John 4 and 23. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Okay, so you can't be in the truth if you're not worshiping Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in the spirit. You have some people that are in the truth that aren't in the spirit. You have some people that are in the spirit, but they're not in the truth. Okay, so it says, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Okay, so the Father, the Lord, the Most High, Father, Yahweh, is searching for people that are going to worship him both in the spirit and in the truth, man. You can't do one without the other, man. Okay? You have to you have to be be meek. You have to be humble. I, I'm gonna get this scripture because I you know I, I got this scripture. I pulled it out earlier. Um Galatians 4 5 and 22. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, okay, which is that's patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Okay? So the the brothers that that are that are doing these things and they're you know they're in the truth they're pushing these prophecies okay they're loving brothers they're joyous you know they're they're at peace they're not you know being niggas okay they're patient they they're enduring okay until the end they're they're humble and they 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 they're not making this truth about them you know there's no law against them brothers man you know. So, so that's the truth, man. The, you have to be in the right spirit towards Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And, and it's only natural that being in the right spirit, most, most likely, you're going to be following the, the, the laws, statutes, and commandments, most likely. You know? But, but if, you, if you're not in the right spirit, you're not in the truth, man. Okay? And that's pretty much the point, man. Okay? You got to have that right attitude towards Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay? They, they, we wasn't put put over here to get everything right, man. You know, we we was put over here because hey, we went off, okay. And in this society, we still gonna go off every day. We not justified by the laws, man. You know, we justified by the hope that we 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 can be saved if we if we have that faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and that the Lord has grace, which is that grace is mercy, okay, or, or or favor to us, man. You know. And then he we're saved by that grace, man. That that favor. Because we're not worthy of, of, of getting saved up out of here, man. Okay? And that that mindset is what, what what a man of the Lord is gonna have, man. Okay? So with that, hopefully this was edifying. I wanna say shalom till next time.